Okay, we're going to have this neck here. We've got some muscles and vessels and things like that on here. This is that weird guy that is like looking up at you. Nice thyroid gland here. Get some landmarks. Here's your thyroid gland. Here's your thyroid cartilage. So here's your cricoid cartilage. It has a little leaven on it. Cricothyroid membrane. Here's your hyoid bone. Thyrohyoid membrane. Some vessels that you already know. Superior vena cava. Left, right brachiocephalic trunks dumping in, I mean brachiocephalic vein. So left brachiocephalic vein, right brachiocephalic vein dumping into superior vena cava. There's two veins that dump in to make brachiocephalic vein. One of those is internal jugular vein. So this is right internal jugular vein. And the other is subclavian. So this is right subclavian. Right internal jugular vein, right subclavian vein come together and give you right brachiocephalic vein. Same thing on the left. Left internal carotid vein, left subclavian vein, left brachiocephalic vein, superior vena cava. This is your trachea here. As far as arteries, this is your left common carotid artery, right common carotid artery coming off a of brachiocephalic trunk. So if you look down here, you can actually see your three branches off of the aortic arch. Brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. Left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. Notice going under the clavicle. Right subclavian artery. right common carotid artery, but they're coming off of the brachiocephalic trunk, which is here. Make sure you take a look at those vessels on there. Now, for muscles, we have a few of those we can see on here as well. This is the digastric, anterior belly of the digastric muscle. This flat muscle underneath of that is the mylohyoid. You have your thyrohyoid muscle here cricothyroid muscle. And then you've got these two strap muscles. It's hard to tell which one is superficial, but it would be the um, sternothyroid, I think, is supposed to be number 35, and sternohyoid is number 36, but they're not easily differentiated on this model. So what else can we see on here? Got your brachial plexus here. So this muscle would be middle scalene, this would be posterior scalene, this would be anterior scalene. Same thing on this side, anterior scalene, middle scalene, posterior scalene. Running with your in common carotid artery and your internal jugular is going to be vagus nerve on both sides. This green structure these green structures right here are actually lymphatics and this over here is your um, thoracic duct dumping into the subclavian, well where the subclavian turns into brachiocephalic vein, so right there where internal jugular and subclavian come together. So this is thoracic duct and over here you have your right uh, lymphatic trunk which is draining the right side of the chest and dumping into the same location but on the right side. If we turn this a little bit to the side, you can actually see your external jugular, which is this smaller one here. Okay, so that's going to kind of sit on top of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which has been cut off from here. And on top of anterior scaling, you can also see the phrenic nerve. Okay, so that's this yellow structure right there. Uh, I think that's probably it on this guy. I think this is the stylohyoid muscle, but it's hard to tell on this one because it should pierce digastric and it doesn't look like it's doing that. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, this one's not great. It doesn't have tons of stuff on it, but it does have a few things. And this right here is sternocleidomastoid muscle. This nerve on top of it is going to be um, spinal accessory controlling that. You can see brachial plexus here, and you can actually see omohyoid. This is external jugular vein right here. This is the platysma muscle. 
I don't really think there's a whole lot else on here that you guys have to know. Oh, you can see scaling. So this would be anterior scaling. Here's brachial plexus. Anterior scaling is right in front, middle scaling, and then posterior scaling. Oops, sorry. This guy has a lot of good muscles on him. Here's your uh, hyoid bone. And you can see nicely the anterior belly of the digastric here. And then right underneath of that, you can see the mylohyoid. Now on this model, this side is actually cut deeper. So this muscle right here with the little 30, is, or 50 I guess, is underneath of mylohyoid. And that's going to be geniohyoid. It goes from the genicular tubercle on the inside of the mandible to the hyoid bone. Okay, so anterior belly digastric, mylohyoid, geniohyoid. Here's your thyroid cartilage with your laryngeal prominence here, thyrohyoid membrane, thyrohyoid muscle. Here's your cricoid cartilage, cricothyroid membrane, cricothyroid muscle, thyroid gland. Here we can see omohyoid. Okay, remember that kind of makes a little L. This one right here and this one right here are hyo, sternohyoid, excuse me, and sternothyroid. Sternohyoid, sternothyroid. Omohyoid. Omohyoid, sternohyoid, sternothyroid. So, uh, sternocleidomastoid. Right here, you can see posterior belly of digastric, and you can see stylohyoid. So you can see digastric is going right through that. And on the side, you can even see your thyrohyoid membrane. External jugular vein. Here's your brachial plexus. So in front of brachial plexus, you have Oh, this one it's hard to tell. Oh, this side you can see it nicely. Here's your anterior scaling because here's your brachial plexus. Middle scaling, posterior scaling. Sitting on top of anterior scaling is the phrenic nerve. Now these down here are brachiocephalic veins, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery, you can see left common carotid artery going up and then branching into left external carotid artery and left internal carotid artery. The external will be a little bit more anterior than the internal. And external has these branches that feed the face. Internal goes up into the skull to feed the brain. Trachea, esophagus. I'm trying to think of anything else on here. Mm, can't see internal jugular veins on here. They've been cut off. I think that's it. It's blood from the right side of the chest into the right brachiocephalic vein. Can't see the branches from carotid here. You can see external jugular vein, this thin one, that's going to lay on top of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which is cut here. So that's external, right external jugular vein, right internal jugular vein, right common carotid artery. It branches at some point up here, but you can't really tell. And then this right here would be superior vena cava. Okay, I just wanted to show you the carotid artery on here. This is your left, or right common carotid artery, sorry. And it's going to branch. You see the Y here. This here is your right external carotid artery. And this right here is right internal carotid artery. This nerve running right on top of the carotid artery is vagus nerve. Back here, you can see your vertebral artery. And that's come up off of subclavian. I think we'll talk more about that when we do circle fillers.